Hi, my name is Puan Sengmini and I live here at Ananda Village. I work and serve currently at Master's Market and I'm here to share my thoughts about uh, how to be happy all the time. So I'm going to read a passage from this book by Paramahansa Yogananda called How to Be Happy All the Time. Mother Divine, teach me to love others and to serve others. Teach me to be true to my word, even as I want others to be true to me. Teach me to love others as I wish them to love me. Teach me, O oh Mother, to make others happy, to make others smile. Teach me, O oh Mother, to find my happiness in the joy of others. I feel that this passage is so true for me, especially as I serve in the public, uh, meeting people all the time, every day. And I find this so inspirational because part of what I do is try to serve others as much as I can, try to make them smile as much as I can. And it could, it could be something as simple as just smile to someone and say, how are you doing today? And that makes me feel happy to see them smile. I do feel that the more I share with others, the more happy I am. And the more happy I am, the more I can share with others. And it could be as simple as just sharing a favorite scarf with someone. It can be as simple as um, asking someone how they're doing. It doesn't have to be anything um, hard or difficult or complicated. I find that these things feed me. So when I'm working at the market and I'm greeting my customers or my friends uh, in the community that come in to visit, to buy, to shop, they are not just customers. They are opportunities for me to serve to, uh, what's the word? To serve in a way that is in tune with how I want to live. I'll share with you one of the things that is very important to me. When I first decided to move to Ananda Village, I was living at Ananda Sacramento, a community in the urban area. And I wanted to live a life fully immersed in community living. So I decided that in order to do that, Ananda Village would be a perfect opportunity for me. And I found that when I dedicate my life to live for and in love, for love and with love, I find that makes me the most happy, the most joyful. And I find that if I take that to everything I do, it doesn't even matter um, where I work or where I serve. If I always approach everything I do from that center, I find that other people respond in kind and they smile back. And that is the most profound thing for me. If I, if I am serving someone or talking to someone and they have a big smile on the face, that makes my day. I feel like that's what I'm here for. Those people who think in terms of, well, I've got to find my happiness, and then I can help other people to find happiness, because if I'm not happy, what have I got to give anybody else, are not happy 10, 20, 30 years later. And again, the other side of the picture is those people who think in terms of, um, how can I help other people? What are the solutions instead of dwelling on the problems? When they see that other people aren't doing uh, right or when they feel that they're not being treated right, instead of sitting there and brooding about it, they say, well, after all, uh, that's their problem if they're not treating me right, but my problem is how do I take it? And they decide that they uh, are happier if they respond in a charitable, supportive uh, way and uh, why not be happy? Why allow yourself to fall into negativity? Why allow yourself to fall into, into uh, resentment and bitterness and all those things? You're the one who suffers. 
They may not even know that you're feeling that way. But the point is that even if they are, and I've always felt that you need to take any kind of thought that you've got and take it to its final limit so you can, you can see it clearly. So ask yourself this question. This is the sort of way I've approached these things. What if they are right? What if they really are uh, prejudiced against you, biased against you, trying to keep you out of things so that you can't uh, uh, get a proper position in your work, don't appreciate you, all the thoughts that come to people. Finally speaking, uh, the question arises, am I going to let them determine how happy I am? No. What does it matter what they think? That's their delusion, their problem. I choose to be happy. I choose to be kind. I choose to forgive. I choose to love. Mm -hmm.